Okay, so here we have a classic kind of conversion problem between Fahrenheit and Celsius. Uh, it's pretty straightforward because before we even get into it, notice they give you the formula that they want you to use. That Fahrenheit is equal to 9 fifths Celsius plus 32. And what do they give us here? Well, I usually skip the most of what they're telling us and just look at the end, which is which temperature represents 15 degrees Celsius in Fahrenheit. So, so here they're saying we're giving you 15 degrees Celsius. What is that in Fahrenheit? So you can literally just plug this into the equation because now you have 9 fifths times Celsius times 15 degrees, right, plus 32. And if you work through this, you'll get the Fahrenheit measurement. Now, 9 fifths of 15, well, we can do 9, divide, 9 times 15 divided by 5. Or, well, if you think about 9 times 15, whatever number that is, right, 90 and 45 or, or, or 135, you would then divide it by 5. So essentially you can think, oh, I'm going to divide the product of 9 and 15, right, 9 times 15 by 5, and then add 32. Couldn't I just look at 15 divided by 5 and then multiply that by 9? And the answer is yes. You can, when you're multiplying a fraction by a, a whole part, you can just divide 15 by 5 and then multiply by 9. It makes the problem a little bit easier because 15 divided by 5 is 3 times 9 is 27, right? Plus 3 here. No, plus 32. That's my mistake. Uh, if you add these two up, you get 59, and that's your measurement in Fahrenheit. Okay, so that's it. Uh, just plugging it right in, and don't forget, as you just saw me do, but don't forget that here it's adding 32 to whatever the product of 9 fifths in your Celsius measurement is. Thanks.